Hi everyone, my name is April and I'm finally back with another episode of Thrifted Transformations. And if this is your first time here, Thrifted Transformations is a show where I go thrifting for outdated clothing and I transform them into something new. In this episode, I found this button-up shirt for $3 and I'm going to be transforming it into an off-the-shoulder summer blouse. I hope you guys enjoy this video and be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Let's get started. The first thing that stood out to me about this top was the beautiful fabric and I immediately thought of a summer blouse when I saw it because of the blue color and the transparent floral print. To get started, I cut straight across the shirt where the bottom of the armhole is. The top part of the shirt is going to be used as the waistband and the bottom section is going to be used for the main blouse. Starting from the bottom of the shirt, I measure up 9 inches and make markings all the way across. This measurement is going to vary depending on what size shirt you're using. I'm doing 9 inches for the peplum and for the top half of the blouse, I'm measuring 10 inches. Next, I grab some elastic and matching colored thread and I'm going to sew a casing for the elastic band along the top of the shirt. But first, I finish off the raw edges using a narrow and tight zigzag stitch. To make the casing, you're basically going to hem the top of the shirt, but fold it over enough to fit the size of your elastic so the elastic can slide through after. Sew around the top of the shirt and then stop 2 inches before reaching the end so we can insert the elastic. Measure the elastic to fit tightly around your chest and then slide it through the opening using a safety pin. Once the elastic has made it through and is sticking out on both ends, sew the ends of the elastic together. I like to overlap them and then sew a square to hold them in place. This way the elastic is laying flat and won't bother you. Lastly, sew the opening closed. Taking the top section I cut at the beginning, I remove the sleeves from the shirt so we can use the back for the waistband. To make the waistband, I cut 2 inch wide strips and sew them together to make a longer strip. Now that I have a long strip, I sandwich the elastic in between the strip and sew right next to the elastic but not through it. After sewing to the end of the strip, wrap the elastic around your waist and measure to fit tightly but comfortably. I gather the waistband to stretch as much as the elastic and then I trim the excess fabric away. Sew the elastic ends together and close the opening of the waistband. Next, we can sew the elastic waistband to the top and bottom halves of the shirt, but if your elastic can't stretch all the way around the waist of the shirt, you'll have to gather the shirt first, like me. Now, I can sew the waistband right sides together with the bottom half of the blouse. Lay the elastic waistband over the top half of the blouse and instead of sewing them right sides together at the waist, I just top stitch the elastic down.
Next, to make the puff sleeves, all I'm doing is cutting the top of the sleeve straight across and then measuring down 8 inches and cutting straight across again. Then I just searched the raw edges and sewed the elastic around the top and bottom of the sleeves just like how I did the waistband. Lastly, sew the sleeves to the sides of the blouse using a zigzag stitch. Here is the final transformation. I like to pair light blue colors with white because I think they complement each other and these shorts were also thrifted and transformed. If you follow me on snapchat I showed you how I made them but I also plan on posting that video on my second channel so if you're interested in seeing the process of these shorts then go ahead and subscribe to Cooler Push Show. These nude colored heels are from Zushu.com and the braided ropes make them perfect for summer. I also like pairing peplum tops with gathered skirts because it looks like a super cute dress now. And since these colors are so simple, these yellow shoes really pop and make the outfit more fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the shoes I paired with the top, you can find more like these from Zushu.com. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for some free shoes. So if you want to enter, go ahead and read all the rules in my description box. And if you'd like to see more thrifted transformations, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!